Hey guys, Hero Tech back with a new video. One of our most requested web shooters is the Into the Spider-Verse web shooter, so today we'll be making that. And for those wondering, we will be releasing the Titanium PS4 web shooter video, as well as the Attack on Titan ODM gear files pretty soon. Alright, so after finishing up the CAD design, we ordered the parts from Zelda 3D so we can get it printed in SLA. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so we have all the parts here. We'll go ahead and paint them first before assembling. Just because it's a lot easier to get into all those crevices and stuff before it's all put together already. Alright, so we've got the web shooter parts all painted in this nice bright mica red. And let's go ahead and start assembling it. You can see I've already attached the spring here. And what you're going to want to do is take this lock block. You can see it has two holes there. Take your nylon line and thread it through both sides of that. What we're going to do is we're going to put those two ends of the nylon line through the spring here and that's going to act as our trigger. Alright, so this is our lock block and trigger assembly. And when you pull this nylon line, it should move the block down on the spring that's going to trigger our web shooter. And what we do now is we attach and affix on the barrel portion. The barrel has corresponding holes that lock in, so all you have to do is press it inside, like so. And then to affix it, we're going to be using our trusty super glue. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to keep pressure on it until the super glue sets. Alright, and now we'll be putting together projectile. It's very simple, just like the past videos. Put the spring here, and then the magnet will go inside the slot here. Just like that. This is what you'll have. Okay, for the web cartridge, it's pretty simple. You take your web string, whatever string you choose to use, and you're just going to tie a loop knot, an adjustable loop knot, so you can tighten it onto the projectile. There you go, very simple. And take it whatever length of string you want, and then cut it, and you just wrap it around. Once you've done that, you just press it into the cartridge. And pull it up, push it back in. And there you have your web cartridge. All right, so just for a quick overview on how the circuit is gonna work, this is our OLED screen that we're gonna use to display some cool animations. And it will connect to this Cduino Xiao, which we'll use as our microcontroller. And finally, we'll power it all with this tiny 3.7 volt LiPo battery. All right, so finally finished soldering and uploading the code. This is the finished working circuit and yeah, all it needs is just to be installed into the actual web shooter unit. All right, we're gonna to put together the other half of the web shooter with the OLED screen and the battery and the casing. So let's get to it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you get the placing for the OLED screen in right and bend the wires accordingly. I'll be very careful. Obviously you don't want to cause a short and you don't want to break any of the wires. some electrical tape just to make sure everything gets held in place. Alright, so I was finally able to squeeze everything in. So we finally screwed it in. Here is our finished body. Alright, so what we can do now is put together the whole thing. So we have our main body here, our barrel, and our cartridge, and this little rod that we're going to slip in between to load the two. So we can go ahead and assemble the full web shooter.
So there you have it. The web shooter unit fully assembled. And the last thing to do, insert your uh, cartridge. All right, and there we have it. The fully assembled into the Spider-Verse web shooter. Thank you.